In this problem, I'll be using a real number line to show how to do addition and subtraction. You may want to pause the video and copy down. What you see on your screen is I'll be using the methods shown here to perform the addition and subtraction. So here are several addition and subtraction problems for which I would like to perform. First, I'm going to categorize the problems as either being an addition problem or a subtraction problem. So for example, here is an integer and we're adding it to another integer, so this would be an addition problem. Here are two numbers separated by an addition symbol, so this would be an addition problem. This would be subtraction, 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 finally an addition problem. This is negative 3 added to negative 8, so this is an addition problem. The last one I see is negative 8 added to 8. So here's my first number, here's my second number, and they are being added. So for these four problems, the technique that I would use to add them is different than how I would do the rest. Also, whether you're adding a positive or adding a negative makes a difference. So for example, notice here we are adding a positive 3, so I will circle that in black. Here we're adding a positive 8, so I will circle that in black. And in the other two cases, we are adding negatives. Here we're adding a negative, and here we're adding a negative. To use the real number line to add, you start with the first number, and if you're adding a positive, like in this case, in this case, you'll move to the right. If you're adding a negative, like this case and this case, you would start with the first number and then move to the left. I've summarized this on the next page. So for example, let's take one of the cases for which we were adding. To do addition, here are the two steps. I want to do the problem 8 plus negative 3. What you do is you start at the first number, which is 8, so that's step 1. Step 2 is if your number that you're adding is positive, move to the right. If your number that you're adding is negative, you move to the left. The number that I'm adding is negative 3, so since it is negative, I will move to the left 3 units. If I was to start at 8 and move to the left 3 units, 1, 2, 3, I would be at 5, meaning that 8 plus negative 3 is 5. In another example, we were to take negative 8, and we were supposed to add 8. This is still an addition problem, so I'm still going to use these two rules. I'm going to start at the first number, which is negative 8, which is right here. Step 2, you either move to the right or the left, depending on the sign of the second number. The second number is positive, and since it's positive, that means I will move to the right 8 units. So if I'm at negative 8 and I move to the right 8 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I would be at 0, meaning that negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Now let's do some examples where we have to subtract two integers. The remaining problems that I haven't circled are subtraction problems. When you do subtraction problems, the rules are different. So for example, if I wanted to take 3 and subtract negative 3, step 1 is to find the distance between the points. And by that, I mean if you look at the first number and the second number and plot them on the real number line, like positive 3 is here, and I'm going to think of this point as representing the number 3, and then you look at this number, which is negative 3, and you plot a point at negative 3. So when I say find the distance between the points, I'm talking about the two points that represent these two numbers on the real number line. And then since we are subtracting, what you do is you find the distance between the points. The distance here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And since the distance is 6, we know the answer involves 6. So I'm going to write equals 6. But then we have to determine the sign. Should it be positive 6 or should it be negative 6? When you subtract integers, the sign on the answer will be determined whether you took a number that is greater and subtracted the one that is lesser in value, or whether you started with the number that's lesser in value and you subtracted off a number that's greater. So to determine this, you simply look on the real number line. Numbers to the right are always greater. So if you want, you could even write the word right where you see the word greater here. And numbers to the left on the real number line are smaller relative to those on the right. So where we see lesser here, we could think of it as left. So in my 
case, we took a positive 3, which is further to the right on the real number line, so we took a number of greater value and we subtracted one of lesser values. So you can think of this as right minus left. 3 subtracted negative 3 means we took a point on the right and subtracted one on the left, meaning that my result should be positive. So I'm going to leave my final answer positive 6. Another problem on the previous page was that we were to take negative 8 and subtract 3. In this kind of problem, you may have seen parentheses around the negative 8, but I don't believe there was parentheses around the 3. However, if you wanted to, even though the 3 is positive, you could put a second set of parentheses here just to show that this is my first number, this is my second number, and we are indeed subtracting them. So because I'm subtracting, I go by the following rules. We first plot the points and find the distance between them. So negative 8 is right here on the real number line. My second number was positive 3, which is right here on the real number line. And then next, we find the distance between those two points just by counting. To save some time, instead of counting by ones, you may know that negative 8 is 8 units from 0. So if you've gone 8 units and you have to go 1, 2, 3 more to get to 3, that means that they are 11 units apart. 8 units plus 3 more is 11. So I know the answer involves the number 11. I just have to determine whether the sign is positive or negative. To determine the sign, you must look at whether you took a number on the real number line that was on the right, minus 1 on the left, or vice versa. In my case, we took negative 8, which was further to the left on the real number line, which means it's of lesser value. It was on the left. And we subtract 3, which is further to the right, which means it had greater value. When you take a number lesser in value and you subtract off one that is greater, or bigger if you will, that means your answer will be negative, meaning that my answer should have been negative 11. I'm going to do one more. I noticed on the other page that one of the problems I was to do was negative 8 subtract negative 8. So what I have is the first number is negative 8, which is right here on the real number line. My second number is negative 8, which is right here on the real number line. So it's the same point twice, and we are to subtract them. So to find the distance between the points, this would simply be 0 because my two points are the same. The distance between negative 8 and negative 8 is 0. So the answer involves 0. Normally, step 2 would be to determine the sign, but 0 is a special case. 0 is the only number that does not have a sign. It's neither positive nor negative. If you wrote plus 0 or if you wrote negative 0, they would both simplify out to be the number 0. Positive 0 is 0, and the opposite of 0 is 0. So there's no need to determine the sign. You didn't take a number of greater value and subtract a lesser or vice versa because the numbers have the same value.